Further down the line, when reliable antibody testing is available, it will allow us to look back and see who has had symptoms and help make sure they know uh, when reliable testing is available for them. And then finally, as you heard, um, we're using it as the beginnings of our planning, pre-registration for vaccination. CDPH is just launching the first version of this app today. We'll be continuing to develop it, refine it, and add functionality over the months and honestly, probably the years to come. Registration is free. Your information will be protected and only used by the Chicago Department of Public Health for public health purposes related to COVID-19. Google does not get your information, only the Chicago Department of Public Health. There are three benefits. Number one, symptom coach. So CDPH will use this platform to help you know at an individual level what to do if you have COVID-19 symptoms. I answer these questions every day on Facebook Live, and I know it can be confusing for people with different symptoms and when do I stay home and what do I need to do with uh, the people who live in my household. So in this way, you check in with us with the app when you're having symptoms. You tell us what symptoms you're having. We also ask you about your underlying conditions, who else lives in your household, and we'll check back in with you daily via text message during your illness. We'll let you know what you and the other people in your household should do to limit the spread of COVID-19. We'll help you know how long you need to stay separated from others, and we'll give you really day-to-day -day guidance through a potential isolation or quarantine period. Number two, it helps us connect you to testing and give you testing information. So looking ahead, registering with Chai COVID Coach will let CDPH alert you when COVID-19 testing and down the line, the approved antibody testing is available. If you think you've already had COVID-19, for example, but you were not tested while you were sick, eventually antibody testing will help answer the question of whether you had COVID-19 in the past and whether you may have some immunity or some protection from infection in the future. Chai COVID Coach is a way to let CDPH know that you've had symptoms so we can let you know when approved antibody testing is available and be able to link up the public facing data with the testing data that we have behind the scenes. And then thirdly, vaccination registration. So looking even further ahead, you know, we are already building our plans to vaccinate the whole city of Chicago and working with others across the region on a major plan for this. We've bought syringes, we've bought cold boxes, we've planned out locations. But we want to make sure that as we develop these plans, we're already thinking about the technology that we'll need to use. We don't want to be vaccinating people using pieces of paper and faxing and materials. We want to be doing this really in a way that, again, allows us to link people's symptoms to their test results, to their vaccination. We're doing a lot of that already through linking up electronic health records, but this gives a way for individual residents to actually keep track of symptoms they've had. And so um, the thought is that we likely won't have this vaccination campaign, as the mayor said, until 2021. Registering now, I want to be clear, does not put you first in line for a vaccine. Um, we will be making those decisions based on major public health prioritizations, but they will be the first step for getting your information in a way that we need to capture what information from you to safely vaccinate you and really keep track of this as a whole city. And when a vaccination becomes available, we'll be able to hit the ground running. Running. We're also looking at our flu vaccination campaign that we'll be running this fall and winter and thinking about, again, how can we use existing technology? How can we make sure that vaccination itself is done in a way that is safe and has social distancing? So this, again, is a first step. You register, you give us some pre-information, we can communicate with you about vaccine. As a city, this is really only one of many new technologies that we are already using in response to this pandemic. We're making really exciting, groundbreaking progress in things like linking electronic health records among hospitals. So at the city level, we can track the progress of patients with COVID-19, answer a lot of really difficult questions about what clinical courses look like and what can we really expect moving forward. We're working with hundreds of our tests 
testing providers to make sure their testing records are getting reported electronically. So we're, again, able to keep track of those, link them up, and really make sure that as a whole city, we have a good handle on what's happening related to testing. And finally, we're making a lot of progress on the data that we are using to make decisions related to this outbreak every day. So obviously the screen's only yay big, but I caught that during live. Um, and I just put the screen enough to catch that weirdo politician from Chicago. So um, you can't see this whole thing, but if you want to yourself, just go to, if you want to see this for yourself, read it for yourself, especially if you're from Chicago. Um, man, you got to get on this if you're from Chi-Town, man, and you, and you need to stand up against this and you need to start telling everyone out there if they don't know, spread information. Uh, this is the track you, this is contact tracing is all bullshit it's an invasion of privacy. Um, you know, whether you know or not, this whole thing is all bullshit. It's, this is what it's all about. And especially to do these mass vaccinations, but you know, whether you believe the illness or not, I don't, I believe people are being are getting sick and uh according to a lot of docs and nurses up in new york they're treating it completely wrong and they're doing it intentionally so that just goes to show you no one really knows what people are sick from what they're being tested from this test could literally test hey does this person have blood in their body oh yeah he's positive for having blood in their body you see what i'm saying no one knows if just like I don't know if it's definitely a hoax, you don't know. Don't tell me trust the science. Don't tell me trust the data. Don't say people are dying. You don't have a damn clue if this thing's real or not. So don't miss me with the bullshit, man. It's a hoax. It's so obvious. We would see people dropping everywhere if this was some damn virus. And if it was a bio warfare, people were trying to say, now get the hell out of here. You think China did this as terrorists. Of course they're going to say that. Yeah, if if China made this to start some type to, to knock us off, dude, there would be people dying, okay? It would be in the air and people would be dying, okay? But the lady from who said this is not airborne, so fall back. Bust your noggin. This shit is a hoax, and it's to hate our privacy, in other words. It's just to push more, get more control. They want more control. They want to completely control us, how we eat, what we eat. You know, it's just total bullshit. But go to Corona or go to Chicago.gov slash COVID coach if you want to read this for yourself. This is all I can fit on the screen. It says, thank you for using Shy. COVID coach. Registration is free and your information will be protected and only used by Chicago Department of Public Health. You can believe that if you want. I don't. For public health purposes related to the CV-19. Registering, registering gets you these three benefits. So these are benefits, guys. <laughs> they think people are so dumb. System coach. Now this is an app that is being rolled out in Chicago. System Coach, CDPH, will use the platform to help you know what to do if you have CV-19 symptoms. If you're having symptoms, check in here and let us know, and we'll check back with you via text during your illness. Remember, a couple weeks ago, I was already uh, reading about this, that this thing was coming, the contact tracing, invasion of privacy, and they would answer you via text to tell you to quarantine yourself. Well, this is it. We'll let you know what you... What you and the other people in your household should do to limit the spread of the CV-19. Help you know how long you need to stay separated from others and give you day-to-day -day guidance throughout a potential isolation and or quarantine period. Exactly. Testing information. Looking ahead. Register registering with Shy COVID Coach will let CDPH alert you when CV-19 testing and down the line approved antibody testing is available. If you think you've already had CV-19 but were not tested while you were sick, antibody testing will eventually help answer the question of whether you had CV-19 in the past and now have some immunity protection from infection. Shy COVID Coach is a way to let CDPH know you've had system symptoms so we can let you know when approved antibody testing is available. That's a benefit, guys. And then the best one. I'm sorry I can't fit the word in, but you see it. Vaccination registration is your third and final benefit. Yep, vaccination registration. Looking even further ahead, registering with Shy COVID Coach will ensure CDPH has your individual information as we plan for Chicago's COVID-19 vaccination campaign, which likely will not happen until 
2021 once a vaccine is available. And then down here it says start coach and it's how you get the app. Da, 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 da. And if you haven't seen, I had this video for a couple days now, but let me show you guys. Back. Um, and then finally, we'll be moving towards this mass vaccination campaign and continuing to follow. And I want you to know that CDPH is already deep in the planning stages about, around vaccination. We've already bought the syringes. We already know where it's going to happen. We're thinking about what that's going to be. It's all part of this plan coming back it's um, and then all finally they are not lying this is a plan uh this been planned i'm working on a video right now that is really going to break it down and prove to you the propaganda and how much they plan this and how they already have it thought out premeditated what's going to happen in the future all right guys another meat uh, processor tyson about to close down you know what i mean like oh we really gotta start waking people up man um and gear up man much love iggy checking out from the Shadow Band Studios, and I will see you guys later. Much love. God bless.